All right, how's it going, everybody? It's time for another video. We've got Hello, Doug everybody. from the Mustang Brothers with us. So uh, if you haven't seen his video yet, he made a video on degreeing his cams for his 5.4 Lightning, which is a very good video. So go check out his video also if you have any questions or if you have a 5.4 and you're trying to degree cams. Good place to go. So what we're doing today is we're going to be putting the timing chains on the old 4.6 and Doug brought us over a tool to use. This is the tool right here and it's to set top dead center on your engine for the crankshaft. It just slides on and slides on to a dowel pin on the side of the block right here for the timing cover which makes sure that your bottom end is at top dead center. Super nice tool. You can get the tool on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description on where to get this same tool. It's like 15 bucks. Yeah, it's really cheap. It's super worth it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and set these chains on and show you how to put these chains on. We're using a uh, Klein's timing chain set. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. But if you want to grab one of those, we'll go ahead and start the chains and then put the tool on. So when you're setting these chains, there's one spot with a dot on it, on the bottom. And then the spot on the top, All right? I think that's sitting in the right spot. Okay. You have to roll the cam a little bit. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was there before. Yeah. And then this is the other chain. And what you want to do is there's always a dark link on a new chain. And that's what you're trying to line up to the dots. So once that's on there, we'll go ahead and set the tool back on. Make sure it's fully bottomed out on that dowel. And if you look, I'm off one tooth right here. That's set. Set that one. All right. Now we got to roll. What do I do with that wrench? Right here. You want to roll this cam for me? And the good thing about this tool is it does not allow the crank to turn. That should be it right there. Hold this one. It's on the uh, compression stroke of the cam move. Yep. And then we can get the guide. I'm pretty sure both of these are the same. Can't remember off the top of my head. One should be a curve slightly different. One of them's got to stand out. So that would be, this is the back chain, so that'll be the shorter one. Just like that. And then you want to grab your left tensioner for the driver's side. Grab the bolts. There we go. We start the bolts on the tensioner. We'll go ahead and what do I do with that wrench? It's got so much light I can't see anymore. There it is. All right, we'll go ahead and set this tensioner real quick. So much easier if I would have brought my electric impact home. Yeah. That or if you uh, had the cam tool that actually just locks it in place and holds it still. Yeah. But crank tool good enough for us. Yeah. As long as you don't let a piston smack a valve, which I know somebody will say something about that, but as long as you're careful. There we go. Should be able to let that go. Or should I pull the pin first? Well, we can let it go. Go ahead and pull the pin though. There we go. 
Now, we gotta do the same thing on the passenger side. And another thing that I always recommend when you're doing timing is to double check, rotate your engine over a couple times. And double check and make sure that everything's still lined up. I roll it over at least two or three times. And mine never lined back up after. Really? Yeah, the chains are so long. So it'll probably take like 10 rotations, so that might not work on these. Mine don't have single links. It has a single and then a double. Oh. Well, either way, at least rotate it over a full rotation and make sure you don't feel any resistance. Or you'll feel a piston and a valve touch because you'll hit a dead stop. I always rolled mine over either way. Where it to be. Yeah. That's a lot better than how it was when I took it apart. That oh, yeah. that uh, driver's side chain was so loose, the tensioner was maxed out. It was ready. It's nice. This one has metal guides instead of. Versus your plastic, and if y'all go watch his video, y'all see the difference in between the four six and five four. And I don't think all the four sixes came with metal guides. No. Some of them came with plastic. So if you go for a timing kit, definitely try to get the uh, the ones with the metal guides. I would recommend those more than the plastic. A little bit stronger, especially for what I'm going to do with it. So once that's on, you can pull this. You can get it off. Yeah. Get a little bit of tension on it. There it goes. There you go. You can pull that off. And what you want is both these links to be lined up on that same point. And then the links up here, the dark links, to line up on the dots. Once you have all that, everything should be set. And then you can just turn the engine over a couple times. Doing chains on a 4.6 or a 5.4 are extremely, extremely easy. Probably some of the easiest chains I think I've done. They just look scary. Well, yeah, well, when you first look at it, if you've never done them before, they can be. But once you know how to do them, and if you have this tool, this tool makes a huge difference in my eyes. Because yeah, once you slide it on number. there, you, you know. You even got a part number on that. Yep. And the, I'll go ahead and tell them what the part number is. The part number is 525219. And you look that up on Amazon, it'll pull up this part right here, the exact same thing we're using. So if you have any more questions, Leave it in the comments. You can ask me. You can ask Doug at the Mustang Brothers. He'll answer any questions that you ask about these motors if we can get to them. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Oh, yeah, guys. And one more thing. Do not forget to put your, uh, your crank trigger on. And when you put it on, you want the beveled edge going back towards the crank and the flat edge on the front. So if you put it on backwards, it would be too close to this chain, and the chain will actually hit it. So don't forget to put that on before you put everything back on. It has to go on before the timing cover. So we'll see you all later.